guys, what's going on? I'm Mike. Welcome back to another edition of the Z Review. If you're brand new to the channel, please press that thumbs up button and subscribe so I can see you again next time. But if you're coming back, thank you for tuning in once again. So today is actually a really exciting, positive day for me, simply because in the UK today, the cinemas have finally opened at Cineworld. So Cineworld is my local cinema, and getting a chance to come back here again for me is just really amazing because I really kind of find this place in essence to be like a second home so i'm really excited to actually be back and to be able to kind of do this kind of like vlog style video so i'm actually about to head into cinema world in just a moment so yeah follow me into my adventure into the cinema i'm about to see a film called my new york year or it's called my salinger year in america i'm really not too sure but i'm excited for this film because i don't know anything about it at all apart from it stars sigourney weaver so yeah let's find out together if the film and this venture to the cinema is any good <laughs> seat now waiting for the film got all my popcorn ready so i'll check in with you guys after i've seen the film so i just got out in the cinema and i didn't want to film around the cinema because there was a lot of people there a lot of people in opposite cars next to me and i want to respect everyone's privacy but essentially i just got the film watched my new york year starring marco quali sigourney weaver and it's directed by philippe fallad do you, if I've pronounced that correctly. Anyway, Margaret Quilly, I actually recognised that she was in the 2017 Netflix version of Death Note. So I was like, okay, well, I'm sure I've seen this version around before. And Sigourney Weaver in this film gives an awesome performance. So essentially, just a quick rundown. This film is about Margaret Quilly's character plays Joanna or Joe, as her ex-partner refers her to, and she's kind of like an aspiring writer slash poet and working for this kind of like literary agency where it's run by the character of Margaret, played by Sigourney Weaver, and essentially she is receiving kind of advice from J.D. Salinger. So that would definitely be why it's called My Salinger Year in America. What I can honestly just say about the film, very quick thoughts, is I actually really enjoyed it. If you're either kind of like a poet or a writer, or you kind of just have like aspiring goals in life, I definitely think that film is going to have a relatable message to you because Philippe Faladru really delivers this in a very like artistic creative like energizing way which has like an emotional weight to it because it really makes you feel like okay well this journey that you're on in life whatever that it may be you know have a look around at that if people's giving you advice take that in you don't necessarily have to follow that but that journey in life is for yourself to discover and for you to really take care of those opportunities so for example if you're a writer and you maybe do say one line a day or you haven't done it in months get back to it even if it's again for 15 minutes per day or just even a line a day just to keep yourself that goal and inspiration and motivation going like it's really worthwhile and honestly i really did feel like i was touched by this movie in terms of just the message that it delivered but overall the performances by mark quali and sigourney weaver utterly brilliant they make worth watching this movie alone just even worth the ticket price because i had never actually heard of this movie before and actually seen it now today i'm actually really glad i went to see it because again i felt like i was really touched by this movie i felt like the direction of it was fantastic i did feel like the director missed the mark one or two times because this is over like a hundred minute runtime. and by all means i didn't feel like i was bored by it at any time but i felt like it was two or three times so this movie was going to have like a definitive ending and there was kind of like a side plot with this gd salinger of like these fans writing him letters and i really loved the artistic direction and vision that the director had of delivering those messages by random fans but also kind of showing like those random fans quick backstories like in the simple terms of for example like this fisherman you see him out near a sea with fish telling about his kind of letter that he's wrote so just simple ploys like that to kind of really utter in that message i felt like was delivered fantastically and i didn't think that this was kind of like a show-off artsy movie i feel like anyone can take away from this movie learn something from it and actually take it into their own personal lives that's what i really feel about this movie again i feel like the only kind of way that this film kind of lost its touch was a couple of times it felt like it was going to end and i think at odd times it does kind of lose its creative direction because it kind of brings in the side story of this boy from a different town and that is his name in this movie but then at the end of the movie it does kind of do something to honor his kind of side story but we don't really get a full resolution to the whole thing so in essence i didn't really like the payoff at the end i felt like the ending was a little bit flat and left it to interpretation about joanne's own adventure which to be fair 
I really do respect that it kind of leaves it and you can have a discussion about that as well. But to be honest, I don't really feel like it's going to be a discussion where people's going to be talking about it for years and years and years. I feel like you might discuss it if you only ever watch this movie. And um, to be honest, it's had no marketing here in the UK whatsoever. <laughs> so if you're actually going to watch this movie, it's only going to be kind of like maybe movie calls like myself that have like a cinema pass where you pay so much a month and you can go see whatever film you like. So that's how I find out about a lot of these films that I've never even heard of. So my overall score for my New York year is... So getting to visit Sydney World today was absolutely awesome. It was such a great treat. And honestly, just really great to be back in the cinema. I felt like the safety precautions of COVID, they have a lot of hand sanitized stations. They also have glass screens between yourself and, of course, the colleagues that work there. And the overall, just really great, big environment. And even the seating was very socially distanced as well. I felt utterly safe in the movie fee there. And I'm more than happy to go back once again and pay another return visit. So if you have any doubts at all, I definitely feel like they'll be squished and quibbled because I felt like it was really protective and really a great environment and I hope a lot of people come back and support the movie cinemas and it's not the same just watching the movie at home digitally streaming a brand new movie you've got to get that big screen experience so hope you guys enjoyed this kind of vlog review if you did please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and until next time this has been a Z review and I'll be seeing you later <laughs>